Hello and welcome. Today we're going to concentrate on our hamstrings and on our glutes. This is going to be so much fun. Let's get started. And actually lying on our backs. And for now, your legs are bent and more or less hip distance apart and you bring your arms right next to your upper body on your mat. Good. First exercise, I like this exercise to warm up, is bring your right leg to tabletop, take your left hand and press with your hand on the front part of your right knee. Try to keep your arm extended and you pressing with your knee into your hand and your hand is pressing back into your knee. Keep that pressure, but it doesn't have to be with all your power you have. Just kind of 60-70%. Then lift your other left leg to tabletop and you're going to lower and lift your left leg in this bent position down and up. And you keep that pressure in between your hand and your knee. You can, for example, go down in here, exhale coming up. If this breathing is confusing to you, then just breathe how you want to. Good. Then let's do last two. And one. Good. We're going to do a little extra addition today. Extend your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. You keep on pressing with your hand into your knee. Lower your left leg in this long position down and lift it up towards the ceiling. And you decide how low you want to bring your leg down and up. Maintaining this activity in your center and down. Good. We have last three with your left leg. Keep on pressing. And one last time. Nice. Bring your legs down. Shake them for one second. And we go to the other side. Means left leg tabletop, right hand is pressing towards the front part of your knee. And lift your right leg up. And we only lower and lift in this bent position first your right leg down and up. We have last three. And last one. Now, extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Lower and lift your right long leg. Down and up. Last two. There we go. And last one. And then relax your legs. Shake your legs a little bit to release them. And after that, let's bring both legs up to tabletop. And you can keep your legs completely closed. Lift your arms up as well towards the ceiling. We're going to do a couple of chest lifts. So you lift your upper body, lower your arms, exhale and you come back down to your starting position. Inhale, again up, and down. Nice. And we're trying to reach with our fingertips towards the opposite side of our room. Let's do one last chest lift and we keep our chest lifted and the arms kind of hovering over your mat. You can keep your legs in tabletop or extend your legs. We're getting ready for our 100. Inhale to prepare. Let's go and exhale two, three, four, five and in. Two, three, four, ten. Exhale two, three, four, five and in. 
two, three, four, twenty. Don't forget to smile. This is so much fun. And thirty. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, forty. Can we lower our legs a little bit? And fifty. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, sixty. Let's lift our chest a little bit higher. And seventy. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, eighty. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two. Three, four, last, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Hug your knees into your chest or find a relaxing position for you. Take a big inhale, exhale. And then bring your feet more or less hip distance apart on your mat. Legs are bent. Arms are extended right next to you. Let's do a couple of hip lifts. In the first couple of rep repetitions, I would like you to roll through your spine. So start from lifting your pelvis, then bring it all the way up to your bridge, and then roll back down to your starting position. Yes. You can exhale when you lift your pelvis all the way up into your bridge. In inhale, you bring it down back to your starting position. And again up. And inhale down. Good. Let's do our hip lift one last time, and then we keep our hips or your pelvis lifted onto your highest position. There are two little things I would like to mention here. While we're keeping our pelvis up into our highest position, can we close these two rib cages? Or sometimes I have this picture in my head making our natural corset a little tighter or your belt around your waist. Make it tighter, bring this rib cage together. Second one, can we tilt our pelvis just a little bit, like a mini imprint, little tilt of your pelvis, then you that feels that the glutes are coming a little bit more into this activation. Then keep these two things in the back of your head and lift your pelvis one centimeter up. This is now your starting position. We're going to do little soft pulses with your pelvis. Go little up and tiny little bit down. Mini up and down. You're pressing from your heels up and down. We have already four of 10. Five, good, you can six, exhale up, inhale down, seven, eight, nine, this is so much fun, and keep your pelvis lifted, engage this tilt of your pelvis, and bring this rib cage together, when we are going to lift only our right leg up to tabletop. Yes, in this position, we're going to do again, little soft, Pulses, more up, less down. Let's go, we go up, little down. Two, faster doesn't mean better. Three, find your control. Four, yes. Five, hello glutes. Six, nice. Uh, there we go, last. Three, and two, and one. Keep your pelvis lifted for one second. This is gonna be so much fun. Now, bring your pelvis all the way down. Keep your leg in tabletop and bring your pelvis all the way up. Keep your leg in tabletop. So you're going down and lift and continue. And you press from your left heel up and down. Yes, this is so much fun. And just a reminder, good. We ha have last five and four. Three, two, last time. Keep your pelvis lifted. Last exercise before our first pause. Keep your pelvis lifted. Only lower and lift your right leg up and down. Keep your pelvis lifted. Press your heel down. We are ready at three. Don't forget to breathe. Last, five. Four, 
three, pelvis stays lifted, two, last time, one, good, and then bring everything back down, yes, extend your legs, shake your legs a little bit, nice. I have good news for you. We did one side, and now what we're gonna do? The other side. Yay, good, everyone is so excited. I know, me too, good. Then, legs are bent again, and we're not gonna do our hip lift from the beginning. We go directly up into our highest bridge position. Again, I'm just reminding you, it, I'm not criticizing, just reminding that we bring these rib cages together, tilt your pelvis slightly, and we're going into our little mini soft pulses. Let's go. Up and down. Both feet are staying down, still on your mat. Good. Mini soft, but more up, less down. Good, then keep your pelvis lifted. Again, rib cage together, tilt your pelvis, and now bring your left leg to tabletop. Keep your leg there, and we have again our 10 little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, press from your right heel, 3, 2, and Keep your pelvis lifted for one second. Your left leg stays in tabletop. We're gonna go completely down with your pelvis and completely up. And down, press from your right heel. Up, down, yes. This you should feel in your glutes and your hamstrings, I think. Last three, two, and then keep your pelvis lifted and lower and lift only your left leg. Hips, pelvis stayed up. Yes. Don't forget to breathe. And last time, good. Bring everything back down. Extend your legs and try to close your legs and keep them long. Bring your arms right next to your head and you make yourself as long as possible from your fingertips until your toes. I guess an in-between roll-up would be a great exercise. So you start lifting your arms, inhale, you come up to a seated position, exhale, and when you're up here, you do another inhale and enjoy that stretch front. And then you roll back down. And yes, again, inhale, arms, lift your chest, exhale. Inhale, you have front, this nice stretch. And then when you exhale, you roll back down to your starting position. Let's do two more roll-ups, like a little in-between reset exercise. And one last time. Up and down. Good. Now, you stay on your back, you bend your legs again, and have another little exercise, which is gonna be so much fun, but we're going, to we're going down from the repetitions. We're not going to do 10, we're going a little down. So, now, lift your pelvis up again. And this time, keep your pelvis lifted again. We're only going to do five soft pulses up and down from your pelvis. You have five up and down, four, Three, two, yes. Now, keep your pelvis lifted again. Rib cage together, 
tuck, tilt your pelvis slightly, stay there. This time, extend your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. You can point your foot, flex your foot, or relax your right foot, your choice. Again, five little pulses up and down. Up. You want to reach with your toes the ceiling. Three, four, and five. Good. Now, we go all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and up. Down. Good. We only have two more times. And last time, let's keep our pelvis also here lifted and lower your right leg with your point foot. Keep your hips lifted and flex your foot. Lift your leg up and down. Inhale, exhale, up. Three more times on this side. Good. Two. Up. And last time. Good. Keep your pelvis lifted. Bring your right foot back. We're going directly to the other side with our five pulses. Both feet are on your mat. Again, soft, up and down. Five, four, yes, and one last time. Extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Five soft mini pulses. Five, four, reach with your toes. The ceiling. I know it's not working that you can reach, but you try to. Good. We go all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Yes. Last time. Then keep your pelvis lifted and lower your left leg with your point foot. Lift your leg with your flex foot. Point down, inhale, flex up, exhale. Yes. Only two and one. And then bring everything down. You can hug your knees into your chest and you can rock side to side. Let's take a big inhale, exhale here. Good. Then let's use this position. We're going to come up into a seated position. We're going to turn around onto our all fours position, getting ready for our next exercise. Today, I try to start with the always left side first, because sometimes the tendency is that we do right side first. So you're in your all fours position, long leg, I want to say, sorry, long leg, I, I meant long back, and only extend your left leg back. And you're trying to keep that this, this left leg as parallel as possible, so your heel is facing up towards the ceiling. In this, lift your leg parallel up, and bring it down, slightly touching the mat and the floor, lift it up, and down. Yes, also make it here long, and to keep your left leg lifted. We have again our tiny little up and down movements. Here, 10, nine little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your leg there and you bend it more or less to 90 degrees and completely extend it. And you bend and extend. Bend up. Keep your back straight. Nice. Exhale, bend if you want. Inhale, extend. Last three. Then last but not least, keep your leg bent. Flex your foot. Keep that shape of your left leg and your lower your leg. You slightly touch the mat with your left knee and you lift it all the way up in this bent position again. So down, up. Yes. 
with control. And I think we can all lift this leg higher. Now, higher. <laughs> Good. Yes. There we go for last two. And keep your leg lifted, your left leg. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Nice parallel. Last 10 tiny little pulses. Let's go. 10 more up. 9 more up. 8 more up. 7, 6. Can we lift it more up? 5. I can't, but I try 4. 3, 2, 1. And relax. So one second. Shake your hands. Shake your shoulders. This is the best part. It's not yet here because we still have the other side. Yes, big smile on your faces, thumbs up, yes, good. Other side, let's go. Then we had extend your right leg, parallel, keep it long, lift it long, bring it down. And maybe your leg wants to go longer or even longer. Good, and keep your leg lifted. Our little mini pulses up and down. Ten, nine, eight, so more up, less down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Bend your leg and extend, and try to keep it as parallel as you can. Yes, so your big toe is trying to draw a line on the ceiling if that makes sense to you. We have last two. And then you keep your right leg bent, flex your foot, and lower your leg, your bent leg, and lift it up. And down, lift, down, yes. You can exhale up, inhale down. We have last three. And keep your leg lifted, a little bit higher. And parallel, last 10 soft pulses, more up, less down. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax your hands. Relax your shoulders. Oh, good. Now, are you ready? You want to do it again? Yes. No, we're not going to do it again. We have so many other things to do. Good. We, I said we're going to start first with our left side today. So let's lie down on our right side. Your bottom arm can be extended or long. This is your choice. And Keep your legs bent. Okay. Now, you're going to keep your feet, your toes together. Only lift your knee and bring it back down. So. Cold clamshell this exercise. Keep your hip bones on top of each other. And try to bring your knee as much as you can up. And now, step number two, keep your top leg as parallel as possible and you lift it up more or less on your hip level and bring it back down. It's just a small exercise, it's not a lot. Less is always more. Last two, and keep your leg lifted. We have knee up and back to parallel. Like the first exercise, 
but with your leg lifted. For your external rotators, yes, abductors over your hips, last five, four, three, two, and one, and down. Good. You feel here this nice muscle working. You can give it a little bit love. You can clap on it. You can kind of be, oh, thank you for doing the hard work for me. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's give this muscle group a little pause and extend both legs and bring and bend your top leg so you're resting your top leg in front of you because I want to concentrate on the bottom leg. We're going to flex your bottom leg and you're going to bring your heel up from your bottom leg, should be your right leg. So your toes are kind of still in contact with your mat. So we have like a little rotation there. Extend your leg all the way. Hopefully you can see it here so it's less down. It's here. So I'm just bringing my leg here so you can see it. I'm bringing a bit more front. Good. Then from here, you're going to try to bring your bottom, this heel from your right leg up and down. And as you make your leg so long, it has never been that long. So you're trying to reach with your heel away from you. Yes, and your leg is completely extended. Yes. You can exhale, go up, inhale down. We have two more to go. And then keep your leg lifted, even if it doesn't feel a lot. Make it long, extend your legs. Can I see long legs? Yes. We're having little up and down movement here, mini. More up, less down. Nine, eight, seven. Make it long. I'm going to say it a couple of times. Four, three, two, and keep your leg lifted. Mini circles. Ten, nine. I want to see circles. Eight, no squares, no triangles. Circles. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Opposite direction and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your leg lifted. I'm not done yet. Make it long. We're going to point your bottom foot and flex. Keep your leg lifted. Point and flex. Yes. Keep it lifted. Yes. Make it long. Even longer. So much long. I don't know, the longest, <laughs> last three, two, and one. Yes, relax your leg. I think, I thought maybe you feel your inner thighs just a little bit on this one. Good. We gave our left leg a little pause. We're going to come back to this one. Can we go, please, up into a kneeling position with your left leg extended? Then your right hand is down, right next to you. And from here, make sure that you have a little bit more weight onto your knee and less on your hand. So imagine I'm pulling your leg away from you. Then the other arm can be up or can be here, whatever you want to do. Then your left leg is parallel, so your heel is facing to the wall behind you. Let's lift this leg up and bring it down and keep and or have this picture in your head, I'm pulling on your leg. If I could, I would do it, but I can't. <laughs> okay, parallel leg, yes. We have four more to go. Good, then keep your leg lifted on your highest position and we have a little up and down movement. 10, nine, make it long, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and hold it. Mini circles. Ten, nine, eight more up, less down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Opposite direction. Promise you last. Ten, nine, eight. Keep it lifted. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And yes. Shake your leg. 
if you still feel it, say thank you to your muscles, to yourself that you did it. And I have great news for you. We're not done yet. Ha ha ha. What a joke. We go over to the other side. Good. Then we started on the other side, left on your left side. Both legs, legs are bent. And we had our clamshell exercise. Lift your knee, bring it down, and try to keep your pelvis as still as possible, and your top leg is moving up or your knee as much as you can. And we have three, two, and good. Second was Parallel up, parallel down, up, yes. Just a mini, maybe like hip distance apart, lifting your leg, good. Then keep your top leg lifted and we have knee up, down. So you're kind of rotating your upper thigh in your hip joint. Yes, I'm doing it slow and controlled. This is much more fun. Pure strength building. Yes, strong hips. Last two. And last one and relax down. Let's give a bit of love to our nice glute muscles here. It's maybe the medius and the mini glutes. Good, you can also, yes, knock a little bit. Are you still there? Are you still alive? Yes, they are still alive. Shake this leg, totally fine. Now, extend both legs and we're gonna bend your top leg because we're gonna concentrate on the inner thigh of your left leg to give your right leg a little pause. We had this rotation here, so your heel is facing up, and make your leg long, and lift your leg up, and bring it down. Even if it feels like it's not really lifting, try to make it soft, and as big as you can. And you have the feeling with each repetition, your leg is getting longer, or your heel is going this way, Good, then keep your leg lifted, little up and down movements, 10, but keep it lifted, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and yes, hold it, mini circles, 10, nine, keep your leg long, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and opposite direction, and yes you can, nine, eight, lifting, nice circles, five long legs, four, three, two, and keep your leg lifted, point your foot, flex your foot, keep your leg long, concentrate on your foot, and your leg is longer and even more up lifted, yes. Keep on smiling, keep on breathing, last five, yes you can. Yes. And one last time. And relax. Down. <laughs> Doesn't it feel great getting some inner thigh work done? One thing I wanted to just came to the back of my head. I know it doesn't feel long sometimes like that, but I only want the best for you. Okay? Good. <laughs> Ten. I should have said it before. <laughs> Let's come up and to our kneeling position, we have our abductor, hip abductor work with your right leg. Left hand is down. Make sure that you have a little bit more weight onto your knee, less onto your left hand. Arm is up extended, right leg is long, nice and parallel, heel is facing back. Let's lift and lower your leg and make yourself long. Even though your leg is not all the way up, that's totally fine, make yourself long. We 
we have two more. And last but not least, keep your leg lifted. 10 mini up pulses. Up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it for one second, mini circles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Opposite direction, I promise. Last, 10, nine, eight. Keep it lifted. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Shake your leg. Woo! This is so much fun. The nice outside part. Good. Are you ready for more? A combination of a glute and a hamstring work. Yes. Therefore, can we all lie down on our belly with your hands on top of each other so your head is resting? There. Good. We have our legs more or less hip distance apart and you're gonna flex your feet and your toes are in contact with your mat. Now, extend your legs again. I'm gonna show it a little faster so you can see it. So the knees are off, but your feet are still on the mat. Now, bring your heels together so you have like a little V position. I'm gonna show it like this, okay? And with this one, keep that V shape and press your heels together and lift your legs. And your toes are a couple of millimeters or centimeters of your mat. Now, open your legs, let's say a hand distance apart and close them completely. So you open and close, so you kind of squeeze. Let's call this exercise heel claps. Claps, so together and squeeze, squeeze. It's just a small movement. Squeeze, squeeze, yes, squeeze, good. Let's go four, 10, nine, Eight, try to follow my rhythm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax your legs. We are not done with this exercise. There was a little warm up. Do you remember in the beginning of our class, in our warm up, we did the 100, and we're taking the breathing five times exhale, five times inhale, from our breathing, from the 100 arms, into our legs. Makes sense in a second. Don't worry, it makes sense. So, same position. Heels together, toes apart, lift your legs. Inhale to prepare, and we do our heel claps with the 100, and exhale to three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, ten. Keep your legs nice and long, and 20. Exhale to three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, thirty. Exhale to three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, forty. Exhale to three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, half time. Exhale to three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, sixty. Exhale to four, five, and in. Two, three, four, seventy. Exhale to four, five, and in. Two, three, four, eighty. Exhale to three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. Relax and we're gonna go up into our all fours position. I'm just gonna turn around like that. We're gonna do three cat stretches. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, extend. And round. And extend. And last time. And Good. Let's give this glutes and his hamstrings a little pause, and we're going to go, I'm going to set a little bit diagonal into a couple of spinal movements. So I would like to do a spine twist and a saw. And let's s uh, stay seated, and your legs are more or less already hip distance apart. If it feels uncomfortable for your long spine, you can, of course, bend your legs slightly. Try to sit as tall as possible. Open your arms to the side. And we have inhale to prepare, exhale, three little pulse, two, three, coming back. Other side, one, two, three, 
and back. Maybe you can start the first one is small, second is medium, third one is the biggest, coming back. And other side. Up, two, three. Good, and again. One, two, up. Nice. To the, tw the left side, twist. Good. One last time, each side. Twist your spine. And left. Good. Nice. Let's come back to our starting position with your arms here and your legs are more or less hip, not hip distance, mat distance apart. And we go into our saw exercise. So you go and twist your spine to your right side, bring your left arm front and you're trying to go towards the outside of your right foot. And then you come back up and we do the same thing to the other side. And there we go. And we're going to make this one arm is reaching front, the other one back. So it's a nice twist motion and a two-way stretch. And let's go one last time each side. And and to the other side. And good. Now, I think we all deserve a little bit of stretching after our amazing work. So let's start with a single leg lunge. So you can bring your right foot front and you're gonna lunge into this, into the front leg. Either you can have your hands, arms here or your right next to your foot. And some people prefer also on one side, depending on your arm length and your leg length, totally your choice. And try to relax your pelvis so you feel a nice stretch in your hip flexors and your hamstrings. Don't forget to breathe. Then let's bring our hands down or keep them down when they were already down. We're going to go to transferring the weight to your back leg and extend your front leg so you feel a nice stretch here in your hamstrings and your hands can be here. And then either you flex your foot or you relax your foot, your choice. And you can bring also your upper body a little bit more front so you can make the stretch a little bit more or as you wish. Then let's take the same leg and we go into our pigeon stretch. So your right knees in between your hands, open the bottom part of your leg to the side and slowly slide back. You can also here keep your arms extended up or you bring your forearms down your choice and try to enjoy that stretch as much as you can And let's go over through the all fours position to the other side. All these three stretching exercise. First one, we had our lunge, left leg front, and you decide where you're going to place your arms. Important for me is that you relax your pelvis so you get the most, the best stretch for you.
then let's bring your hands down or keep them there and transfer your weight onto your back leg extend your front leg with your flex foot or relaxed foot your choice Then let's go over here with your left leg into that pigeon stretch, like on the other side, with your arms extended or on your forearms. Then try to find a comfortable seated position, cross leg position or long legs, your choice. Let's bring your arms to the side and just stretch to one side. Doesn't matter which side, we're going to do both anyways and make this side long. Like I always have this picture in my head, you're sitting on an apple tree and you try to reach over there to this apple which, is which looks so delicious. And then on the other side, you see another, even more delicious apple. And you're trying to reach there and make it long. And then you come back. Let's go again to the other side where we go this time in a diagonal front. And coming back, let's do the same thing with your other arm, reaching in this diagonal front. And then coming back, open your arms to the side. Big inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, lower your arms down. Two more times. Big inhale. Lower your arms down. And one last time. And down. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope your glutes and your hamstring feel awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a little bit of fun and your hamstrings and your glutes are feeling awesome right now. If you want to check one of our free resources, go down in the description. Don't forget over there to watch the next video. Here you can subscribe and please leave us a like and a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.